when I am ready to form my snail, I'm gonna divide my clay into two pieces, one for the shell and one for the snail's body. The first thing I need to do is turn my clay the color that I want to use for that part of the snail. For my snail's body, I'm gonna turn him orange. So I flattened out my clay and poked my orange marker into it. Now I'm using my fingers to pinch and squeeze and mix that color into my clay. The more I mix, the more even that color will turn out. If it's too light, I can always add a little bit more ink from my marker and mix it into my clay until I get the color that I want. Now, it is never going to be a super duper dark color um, because our clay started as white. When I reach the color that I want, I'm going to roll that part of my clay into my snail's body by starting with a coil and bending his little head up. After that, I'm going to move on to the colors for my snail's shell. I said colors because I am actually going to try to create a marble look with the colors on my clay. I'm going to start with blue and I'm going to mix that into the clay the best that I can. Again, it's never going to be super dark or super bright. And then if I want to try to create this marble effect, I can add in a second color to my clay. When I've added that second color, I'm not going to mix or blend it in all the way. I might fold it together and start to roll and twist and just see how those colors show up. If I twist my clay, that marble pattern will start to kind of spiral around. I'm gonna roll that piece out into a long coil because this coil is gonna roll up to make my snail's shell. Rolling it up a little bit at a time until I get to the very end and I am going to stick it on to my snail's back. Pressing it enough so that it sticks but not so much that it squishes my snail down flat. I can do my final little pinches to make sure that his face looks the way that I want it to. Now we're probably gonna let our snail dry before we draw eyes and a mouth, um, but we will be able to poke in his antennas so that they dry into place nicely. Now, if you want your antennas to be curled or twisted at the end, you're going to want to bend those first before sticking them into your snail. I kind of learned that the hard way, that it was pretty tricky to bend those little antennas while they were stuck into my snail. So I pulled them back out, bent them over, and stuck them back in. So that is up to you how those look. Another step of this project that we might do first or we might do last is making our little background for our snail to sit on. You're gonna get a little piece of mat board and we will paint it like a beautiful spring day with some green grass, maybe some colorful flowers. Um, and if we have extra time or extra clay, we might mold some little friends um, to sit on there along with our snail. But if not, our snail can just be the star of the show.